Tommy Retro here with another video. This is going to be a demonstration video. We're in the basement of an old school. This school was built in 1949 with an addition in 1959. So kind of a history lesson here. So what we've got is two Pacific steel boilers, fire tube boilers. Uh, they produce steam that uh, heats the school. Right here is the original uh, 1949 boiler. And then to the right is the boiler that was added in 59 when the building was expanded. So what I want to show today is uh, maintenance procedures on these boilers. Every week we've got to do what's called a blowdown, which means uh, we open the valves on these mud legs, which is down here. So you see these valves that we've installed. So we open those out, blow any, uh, any sediment that's settled in there out. And uh, also we open up these valves in the bottom of the uh, water fill um, floats and the low, low water cutoff safety switches. So like I say, the whole the goal of everything is to rid the system of sediment so these boilers originally operated on fuel oil when this school opened and sometime I believe in the 60s uh, was converted to natural gas just so you kind of get a feel for how this operates we've got the two boilers here here's the uh, makeup water tank so as steam is produced it goes out to the heat registers in the building condenses it gets vacuumed back to the boiler room by a vacuum pump I'll show you that on the other side of the room and that vacuum pump um, pumps all of the uh, the condensate back here to be used again um, in the boiler system and also it's got you know makeup water from the street but uh, here we've got our chemical tank so to treat our water going into the boilers we've got that set little pump there that comes on when the feed pumps come on so we've got all that going um, let's see here hydro pressure tanks water softeners old phone uh, system up at the top you see our original hydro pressure tank up there in the side of the uh, side of the concrete uh, foundation and also our well is up there so come around here and here's the vacuum pump just kicked on so what that does is because the building is spread out it's about 50,000 square feet uh, the buildings square uh, spread out pretty good so this returns all the condensate from the steam traps and brings it back to the boiler room to be reused again so we got that uh, original school 1949 is heated by steam uh, the addition 1959 is heated by hot water and that's what this unit is right here that's a heat exchanger so steam comes in on that header you see that big valve up there that pneumatic valve and uh, that's a heat exchanger so the steam heats the hot water that's running through the loop and the loop pump for that section is right buried back behind there you kind of probably hear it running but that's the story there we've got the uh, air compressor for all the pneumatics everything here is operated by pneumatics as far as thermostats and uh, controls so we've got that switch gear domestic hot water tank so we got the circulation pump for that right there and then we got our main switch gear over here. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do the blowdown procedures and we'll take you through that. Okay, so here we go with the blowdown procedures. So we just start right here. And you see that brown muck that comes out of there. I just kind of open and close it a few times quick till I see clear water. 
and it seems like if you agitate it like that it really gets the sediment stirred up and out of the system and that's what we're trying to do we're trying to rid the the boiler of sediment up here There's the feed pumps coming on, fill the boilers. Now the other thing we do daily is we switch the boilers. So today the left boiler was operating the original 1949 boiler and now we're going to alternate and operate the 59 boiler. So in order for the boiler to come online it can't be too full of water, the water has got to be in the middle of that sight glass. I don't know if you can see that up there. But there's a sight glass. So what I have to do is I have to get the water down to that level. So what we'll do is we'll open some of this stuff up, flush it down, and we'll watch the level come down in the sight glass. I don't know if you can see that up there, but there's the sight glass. And it's all the way up to the top. So we're just going to drain this down to get in between, like basically right in the middle of the sight glass. This one here was pretty muddy before, so I'll let this one run out a little bit.
All right, so we're coming down. We're starting to see. We're starting to see uh, some air at the top of that sight glass, so we see about two inches of air. So we still got to take it down a little bit. So what happens is condensation builds up in the boiler that's not running. And this has been kind of an extended weekend period. So they haven't switched over in a few days. Okay, so now we've got the boilers blowing down. The uh, water on the right boiler is down below the top of the sight glass. It's probably about three quarters of the way up, which is acceptable. You can't run a steam boiler completely full of water. It's not a good thing. So we've got that set at three quarters. Uh, both boilers are right now offline. We're going to hit the control switch on this boiler, and it should come on.